is a video on uh, passing multiple arguments from one method to another. another. Um, so uh, as you should have this on a handout in front of you and so as we look at this program we start out of course in the main method and you have these two declarations and so name and feet and then uh, the question what's your first name the user then types in a name let's just say Bill just for kicks and then uh, they're asked how many feet their house is from the street let's say they say the user types 50 and so this is stored in this variable and so then we want to do a method call so right here is the method call and we want to um, send some data to the other method called feet to inches we want to send some data to there so that this method down here uh, can use the data um, from the main method to do what it's supposed to do and so um, we want to send the name of the person and the number of feet from uh, that their house is from the street and so we need to include um, the variable that has the value that's going to be sent over and of course that value is bill and so we want to send bill over there and then we want to send feet so feed is being called and names being called and so we're going to send these values over to the other to the um, invoked method and so we again we call these passing uh, we're passing those values and so passing the arguments so when this method call invokes this method um, called feet to inches um, it is going to pass bill and it's going to pass 50. Now the important thing is here, the only thing that you have to make sure you get right is that this has to be in order. So if name comes first and then feet, then you need a variable here to catch the name here. So we're going to use a variable um, called nm. So we're declaring a new variable that's a string and these are called parameter variables and then another variable is declared called FT for feet and so um, Bill the, or the NM is going to catch the um, value Bill and then FT is going to catch the value 50 so now that's how this information up here gets to another method because this method down here cannot call values up here. The important thing here is that this is the or it goes in the right order. So um, Bill, you have to have the NM here. Uh, you can't do feet in the name and then go and expect it to work. It's got to be in the correct order. So um, that's going to be important. Okay, so then as we go down in here in this um, method down here two parameter variables have been um, declared and then we have this one here called inches and inches calls the value FT from FT and it does the calculation comes up with 600 and then um, so um, this parameter variable is called in a calculation but also the parameter variable might be um, called in a print statement so NM is being called and that way this says Bill and then comma Bill your house is and then this is calling inches your house is 600 inches away from the street alright so you have all three variables that have been called in their own different ways here and that is basically how it works passing multiple variables you can pass three four five arguments and just remember the ar the order up the order of the arguments has to match the order of the parameters down here the parameter variables and that's all there is to it